Hi, you're watching Chart House TV. I'm Steve, I'm here with Ryan, and we're going to be taking a closer look at the Hanna Instruments Pocket Checkers. So, testing your water parameters becomes a pretty important part of most hobbyists' regular maintenance routines. And while there's some really great test kits available and some not so great, most on the market at the minute rely on the humanised interpretation of a colour that's produced by that test kit. Now, because of the difficulty in this and the way it can differ from person to person, we've seen a real increase over the last few years in digital test kits. Yeah, some of the most popular uh, digital checkers on the market are made by Hanna Instruments. Hanna have been around for a number of years, since the 70s, and they're a leader in the field of uh, water testing. Um, they've made a complete range of testers uh, for the aquarium industry. Yeah, I mean, most of that range um, you're seeing on the table here, and the most popular part of that range, by some way, are the actual pocket checkers that you can see in front of me. Each one of these pocket checkers comes complete with one of these really practical hard cases. Inside that you'll get your actual pocket checker and instructions on how to use that. And you also get these really smart 10 mil um, glass test vials, the first set of reagents that you'll need, and then depending on what test you're buying, a syringe or a spoon. Yeah, and the tests will work in the, the same way a traditional test kit would work. Um, basically, you would fill the vial with uh, sample water up to the, the line on there, um, and then you would add a reagent. Uh, but instead of comparing that to a traditional colour card, you would then put the vial um, into the checker and the onboard colour meter does the rest for you. Yeah, I mean, there's checkers available for nitrite, for iron, for iodine and even a checker for chlorine. But some of the best sellers include calcium checkers, the phosphate or phosphorus checkers and the KH or DKH checker. With the phosphate and phosphorus and D, uh, DKH and KH, why do you have two for, for each one? Um, in terms of the phosphate, it just depends on how accurate you want that reading to be at a low level in the aquarium. And with the KH or DKH, it just depends on how you want that reading to be put out to you. So if you want the, the reading in DKH, you buy the DKH reading. And if you want it in a parts per million reading, then you just buy the KH model. Okay. Um, there's also lots of other uh, items available in the HANA range. Um, they have the pH uh, pens, pocket pens there, and also they do a, a much more accurate iron-specific desktop checker uh, a meter. And of course, all of the reagents that you're going to need to be able to carry out the tests that you need to carry out. Um, if you want any more information on any of these pocket checkers, uh, we'll put a link in the description below so you can check that out. Yeah, I mean, if you've liked the video, don't forget to click the like button and subscribe to Charterhouse TV. And if you think it would be helpful for us to produce um, instructional videos on any of these pocket checkers, we'd be interested to hear your views on that. So, you know, leave your comments down below. Thanks for watching and we'll see you again soon. See ya.